All right, you guys, I feel like I've given it enough time. I'm not somebody who is going to wait a half an hour for my sunscreen to sink in before I put on my sunscreen. You guys, welcome to Sunscreen Saturday. Yes, we're launching the series of Sunscreen Saturday again. If you're new here, this is something I started two years ago where I look at sunscreens that are new or new to me on Saturday. This time, I think we're going to do it a little different because sunscreens don't come out as often as, for instance, foundations. So it's not always going to be sunscreen, but on Saturdays I might talk about other skincare things, and I hope you like it. I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you like this idea, and let's get into today's video. Today I'm presenting to you from the drugstore Mineral, ta-da, from Native, the brand that you might know for bringing you clean deodorant that doesn't have aluminum or nasties in it. I don't really love it so much. It's pretty scented for me. Hopefully this won't be scented. I personally have a sensitivity to zinc. I don't like it. I don't like mineral sunscreens. I don't think they're cosmetically elegant. But I know there's so many of you out there who love mineral sunscreens or can only wear mineral sunscreens. So I'm doing this for you guys, and I hope that I will like it. 20% zinc oxide. This doesn't have much else going on. It has tocopherol, it has glycerin, which is hydrating, it has almond oil, which is soothing and moisturizing, but it's pretty much about the zinc. 20%. I'm a little afraid. I'm especially afraid because I'm already feeling some sensitivity around my eyes. I think um, I might have overdone something recently, so we're not going to put this around the eyes before we put this on. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something cosmetically elegant that will look good under my sunscreen, that won't bunch up with my skincare, that doesn't leave me looking white and scary. I don't think I'm asking for a lot. From a mineral, probably is asking for a lot. Also, you should know that sunscreen is considered medicine in a way, and it's dose specific. So this says it's an SPF 30, which isn't that great, but if you put on the right amount so that you actually get 30, it's not that bad. Part of the reason sunscreens have SPFs that are so high is because people under apply and they don't get the SPF that is on the label. How much do you need? You need a quarter teaspoon. Faces don't vary that much in size, you guys. Just maybe a little bit. Take a sheet mask, for instance. A sheet mask fits you, the same sheet mask fits me. It's probably because our faces are pretty generally the same. So the quarter teaspoon is a good place to start. And as most people don't know what it looks like, I always like to show you. And you should too. Get yourself some teaspoons if you don't have any. Why not? Get them on Amazon, and I'm going to count the pumps for you, so that will help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's some holes in here, so I'm just going to tap it to see if that's it. Yeah, seven shall do it for level. And then I'm going to take out this, you know, with my finger because every little bit counts, especially if you're going level. And a quarter teaspoon is, I believe, for your face, but I do face and some of the neck. So even I am not wearing the proper amount. And we're gonna go for it. It looks right off the bat like it has a little bit of a bluishness to it. They say that this does not leave a white cast. We shall see. And we're also going to put on foundation to see how it works because that's what it's about for me. Is it cosmetically elegant? This is much thinner than other sunscreens that I've tried that are mineral. So it's not goopy. It doesn't feel like I'm putting Elmer's glue on my face. But from this mirror, I feel like it's not really rubbing in all that well either. I think it's not in agreement. See how it's just kind of skipping around instead of going where I'm putting it? kind of have to go over and over an area for it to adhere. And my sunscreen's been on for a solid 10 minutes. I feel that it's sunk in, but this, it's not balling and pilling, but it requires a lot of rubbing for me to really feel that 
I'm covered. So, the good thing, and it's already drying down here before, I have the chance to really rub it in. So points off for that, for sure. Now, another thing you don't like about something that dries down too fast is you don't want to leave areas of your skin unprotected. And usually you can just kind of stretch something out and move stuff over. But if it's drying really fast, not so much. And the weather today is, you know, lovely spring weather. It's not very hot. I measure in hot weather, it would dry even faster. So, so far, I like that it's light and doesn't feel like glue, but it dries down a little bit too fast for me, only because it's not really in agreement with my skincare. It, I don't know if you saw it, it just kind of patched and I kept on having to work that in. And if that's the case, I need it to not dry down so quickly so I can really be sure that I'm rubbing it and getting everything all over my face and getting my proper skin protection. So it does look white. They say it's no white cast. Step into the sun with our broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreen made with naturally dry zinc oxide. Our formula contains no evobenzene, avobenzone, or octanoxate. The lightweight, non-greasy formula blends seamlessly on all skin tones. No ghost face here. So it says it here that you're not going to get a white face. I clearly do. And I'm not that dark. You know, if you're medium skin tone, you're going to look scary. And I'm not. I'm more like light medium. And I would not leave the house uh, looking like this quite yet. So what I'm going to do is step away from the camera and give this 10 minutes. I will say their other claims are spot on. 100% zinc. Absorbs quickly, no residue. We'll talk about that in a minute. Lightweight and non-greasy, cruelty-free vegan. So, it did absorb quickly, maybe a little too quickly. And they're saying that it is lightweight and non-greasy. I would say that it's not greasy, and I would say it's lightweight. I said it already when I put it all on. But I still feel its presence on my face. It's not like it's sunk in like some of my other sunscreens that are no longer being made that I really felt sunk into the skin. But I think that's pretty hard to do with zinc because zinc lies on the skin. It doesn't sink in. By the way, while we're at it, there is this perpetuation of something that we believe to be fact for many, many years, but more than four years ago, almost, it was in 2016, so quite some time ago, researchers found that zinc and chemical do not protect your skin differently. They used to think that with mineral sunscreens, this is your face, the rays hit and bounce off of the skin, where with chemicals, the chemical on top of your face absorbs the rays and then breaks them down and they go away from your face. Actually, not true. This works the same way chemicals do. There is a small percentage, maybe 10%, uh, that is refracting the rays off of your face, but mostly this absorbs the rays and breaks them down just like chemical. Now, I'll be back in a few minutes, and we will... It seems to be fading as I'm talking, but I still see it. So let's give it five more minutes, and we're going to put on foundation and see what that's all about. All right, you guys, I feel like this is enough time. I'm just not that person who's going to wait a half an hour after my sunscreen to go ahead with my foundation. Hopefully the camera was on. I thought it was on when I did it on my chest. My chest is blended in. My face, I can see the white. I was really aggressive with how I worked this in, as you saw, hopefully. And I'm just not going to be that aggressive with my face. And you shouldn't be either, in my humble opinion. Let's go on with the Makeup Forever Reboot. This is the foundation that I use for all of my sunscreen tests. That way, we just have a baseline. And I just put way too much on. It's been so long since I've used this because I've been testing so many foundations lately. It feels like a pleasure to have this on my face again. And 
I love to use my fingers for applying my foundation. And you can see now just how white the face is with this color. And I do have a feeling I didn't get enough sunscreen on the side of my face for a couple of reasons. While I was doing it, I came to this section later and it already kind of set. I tried to move it and I think I was somewhat successful, but that is not as white as the rest of the face. So that's kind of, you know, dangerous. I'm not going to be doing anything outside in a serious manner. Yeah, and the sunscreen right up here, it's still, as much as I've tried, it's not all the way blended in. So again, if you're just goofing off and you're really an inside day kind of a thing, fine. But if you are going to be seriously in the sun, you're doing a picnic, you know, seriously in the sun, but not sweating, you're not exercising, you're not at the beach but you might be at a picnic or you might be going to, I don't know, Disneyland, some place where you're gonna be in the sun all the time. You would come away with like a sunburn in areas of your face. I really didn't see anything not working with the foundation. Working really, really nicely. Yeah, so it works well with foundation. There's no balling, there's no pilling, there's no skipping. And the skin looks very nice. It does look nice. So I would say that it checks the box of being cosmetically elegant. However, at the same time, I have noticed if I'm wearing something that is too sticky, and this does have a tacky nature to it, even though it doesn't feel heavy like so many other minerals, it does have that feeling, which means if I were to pick up my beautiful Wayne Goss brush and go in with my powder, it would probably leave that brush dirty, where it looks a little greasy, and that's not something that excites me. And I think it would do the same thing to my blush brushes, that we want to go in with creams instead of powders if we're going to be using this. So this is just my favorite cream blush. It's called Perfect Peach from Clay de Poe, and I just love it. It imparts a real looking color for me, for my skin tone. And I think it went in really well, but let's just give it a look. Yeah, no problem. The skin looks very, very nice. Now, if you have strong marionette lines, I just noticed a little bit of whiteness right here. like. The sunscreen is coming through. And, you know, what's interesting, it's not too shiny. There's shine, but I've had worse. You know, I've had sunscreens that just make me look like I've been bobbing for apples in a barrel of oil. And this isn't that bad. It doesn't mattify you by any means. But the shine is not something where I think, ooh, I really need some power. I do really think I need some concealer. So I didn't put this under my eyes, and honestly, I wouldn't recommend putting this under the eyes. Something that I like a little bit better, if you put sunscreen under your eyes in the mineral family, is probably the oil of Olay, which is more expensive than this. But the oil of Olay is more cosmetically elegant than this one, and it feels a little bit more moisturizing. Not that this feels dry yet. I'm going to leave down below if I found that this was drying, but I'm here to tell you, I just thought of it. Oftentimes with zinc, I feel itchy pins and needles all over my face. I am not experiencing that. So that is good. And it's 20% zinc, so that's pretty interesting. I'm going to run this puppy in. I'm going to risk a brush in a blush, in a powder blush, and see if we get any dragging or pulling. Actually, it's working fine. There's a little bit of a drag, but it's not bad. And I don't feel like it's moving the foundation. Okay, it should be okay with powder products and a brush, but also this is Squirrel, which is a lot softer than synthetic. All right, you guys, I think I have told you what my thoughts are as I put it on. It is more light and less goopy than most zincs that I have tried from the drugstore. 
So big thumbs up for that. Really, really big. It dries down pretty darn quickly. So don't go dot, 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 and then work one side because this needs a lot of time to work into your skin. Even my chest, I went and went and went and went and went and went and went, which hopefully <laughs> the camera was going and you saw that. It works well with my foundation. It works well with cream products and with powder products. So those are plus, plus, plus. So it's, it's, it has its yes points and it has its I don't know points, but what you are looking for may be different than what I'm looking for. And I think this is about 16 bucks, which is on par with Neutrogena, whose formulas I do not enjoy from what I've tried as much. So some good, some bad. And that is going to wrap up two days. Sunscreen Saturday, yay. Next week won't be a sunscreen, most likely, but I do have another new one to look at. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. By the way, playlist, did I link it in the front? If I didn't, I will link it right here of all my other sunscreens and my sunscreen roundup for 2021. Okay, hope it was helpful. I hope you come back again. And until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.